I mean, you're my fucking girlfriend, and I'm fucking embarrassed walking around with your dumb ass. You're getting taxed. I take 80% of your goddamn money because I'm the one taking all the risk, you dumb whore. Nick Nair, seeing all these guys knee out all this, you motherfuckers better put these bitches under contract and collect. You'll thank me later when yeah. you get embarrassed and someone put, sends you a video for sucking dick for the 103rd time to your fucking phone. You'll thank me that you got that fucking money because you already sold yourself out anyway. You fucking simps. And it's fucking embarrassing to me how we have so many young men that are famous, that have influence, that have status, that are fucking terrible examples to the young guys out there watching them saying, it's okay to be a simp and wife of a sex worker fucking embarrassing like this dude nick gets mad at me calling me an asshole nigga you're with a straight up porn star if you click her shit first thing that comes up is she's naked she's sucking black dicks all over the internet are you fucking stupid the fuck is wrong with you now with this girl uh with this dumbass bitch sam frank goes to meet vitaly yes pictures of her naked pulls it on a binder like, do you guys not see what the fuck is going on here? Nobody's going to have any sort of conversations. You guys get like Jinxy who get on stream every day with 50,000 viewers and cry because he's a porn addict who's dating a porn star. It's that stupid. People are going to have to gravitate towards platforms Let's where Candace Owens and Devil Brazilian exists. We got a video here on it. So here he is. Jinxy cries on stream talking about his breakup with Brecky Hill saying she, he was stalking uh, girls while having a porn addiction in his relationship with Brecky Hill. Only just like that but like you know i would there was a like a couple instances where i was like stalking other people on social media like other girls and um stalking she found out about that and that broke her heart which broke my heart because i don't want to like i don't want to hurt somebody that cares about me this is the fourth public breakup but by the I way think yeah i thought it was fake if i like i've been thinking it's fake sometimes too you guys i think watching like for publicity um, yeah, for views. Corn and stuff like that is a very unhealthy addiction, and it's. I didn't even realize because I was never been in a relationship before, but I had no idea the damage that that could do to someone. So the advice that I would uh, give you guys is to never put. Some, if you care about, like, if you're in a relationship, and you care about the girl that you're in a relationship with, um, just don't watch videos like that because. It hurts them more than you could like know. <laughs> I know I'm only just like that, but like. Right, so he just said, "Don't watch." What porn. a fucking pussy, man! Yo, look, and this is what bothers me, cause like, look, this dude is soft. I watched his interview with you. You guys should go watch his interview that he did with uh, with Sneeko. The guy is a people pleaser, pussy bitch, video gamer dork, right? No actual real accomplishments in life. Just streams himself playing fucking Rainbow Six, right? And the reality is what he should have been doing the whole time is watching his own six and figuring out what the fuck he's doing in his life. Wiping up a OnlyFans 304 that sells her body all over the internet. And uh, actually, I, I went ahead. She went. She goes ahead and puts like stupid shit like this on the internet, right? Scroll down. She goes, when he can golf. And she puts like a little f funny emoji. Like, bro, this is not a girl you commit to. And I go, woman needs translation. I don't really care that he can golf. I only care that he has an abundant amount of resources to be in a position where he can play an expensive, leisurely sport, typically reserved for higher class individuals. You're welcome, gentlemen. Don't let these gold digger thoughts fool you. And that's the fucking reality, right? Because if you're someone like a jinxie, right, and you don't have the self-awareness to understand that you're getting a girl like this, right, that's clearly a sex worker, that's on OnlyFans, and her goal is to build her audience to make as much money as she can, does she really like you for you? The answer is... Of emphatic fuck no dude no you haven't accomplished anything you're a video gamer in your 20s you're you're of you know you, you haven't really done shit women typically want guys that have done shit so what's she doing let me extract value from this guy and build up my fucking only fans that's what it is this is why i tell you i'll never take women seriously that are sex workers never take women seriously that are only fans never take women seriously that are influencers because they have ulterior motives especially when you're someone like this Every single guy that has that, that's young that has a OnlyFans girlfriend, I tell him, bro, these girls are making a bunch of money on you. They, you better get a cut or something. I told Salim this shit with his stupid bitch. I told, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, don't, I know, you don't I know. fucking listen. Talk on Nick Narasina, huh? Uh, I, yeah, I wore Nick Narasina. Like, yeah. bro, why Neon. are you with this chick? Neon. You know, I told Neon, Hold like, on. if you guys are gonna prop these stupid, talentless fucking bimbos, you better get a cut because they want to get ninety or eighty percent of their traction. Without you guys. Because let me tell y'all right now. These women, it's just already embarrassing enough that you have to fucking be seen with these 304s, right? <laughs> you better get a fucking cut of it. Because 
<laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. But you know, here's the, the fuck do I look like walking around with you? I got a platform. I'm a somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a nobody. And you're making a bunch of money because people are only signing up because they're curious to see what my girl is like. Yeah. Right? Assuming I was an idiot like this and actually had a girlfriend like this. Yeah. But I'm just like thinking at it from an entrepreneur mindset because at this point, you already you already sold yourself uh, anyway. So you might as well make money. But here, these guys are letting these girls collect, make money hand over fist off of their name. Because let me tell you guys this. A majority of OnlyFans girls don't have an audience. No one gives a fuck about what they think. No one follows them, etc. These stupid bitches only make money because your dumbasses fucking let them. So you guys deserve to fucking cry on camera. You guys deserve to get finesse. And you guys absolutely deserve to get made fun of. Because here's the other thing. Idiots like you guys sit there and make it okay and a socially acceptable for dudes to be simps with these bitches. I was on X yesterday. Some FaZe Clan loser. FaZe Jason or some shit. I don't fucking know. He goes ahead... And he gives this bitch Cinna, uh, I don't, uh, f this, I think it's Cinna. A Van Cleef. A Van Cleef bracelet. 5K. Right? 5,000. Bro, this girl, she doesn't even like, oh, thank you. Like, she doesn't really appreciate her or anything else like that. She, bro, you, you're way bigger than her. This bitch is a fucking nobody. Like, no one would know who she was if she didn't collab with all these male streamers, with Age and all these other guys. And in my head, I'm like, why are you guys letting these girls, random bimbos, be on y'all streams and siphon attention from you guys? Literally, I tweeted this yesterday. I said, if we took Senna's brain and put it in a fucking man, she would be in poverty. She would literally be poor. This Brecky Hill girl, same situation. She dumbs, uh, tweets a bunch of stupid nonsense shit. All these stupid OnlyFans chicks that are on Twitch or whatever. You take their brain. Demi sucks. I know you're friends with her. She's a retard, I too. I don't know her. I like, don't you know. put their brain in a fucking guy, they would be living in fucking poverty. So you know what? Bitch, if you're on my shit... And I'm an influencer, and I got a big platform, and you're my fucking girlfriend, and I'm fucking embarrassed walking around with your dumb ass. You're getting taxed. I take 80% of your goddamn money because I'm the one taking all the risk, you dumb whore. Nick Nair, seeing all these guys knee out all this, you motherfuckers better put these bitches under contract and collect. You'll thank me later when yeah. you get embarrassed and someone put, sends you a video of her sucking dick for the 103rd time to your fucking phone. You'll thank me that you got that fucking money because you already sold yourself out anyway, you fucking simps. And it's fucking embarrassing to me how we have... So many young men that are famous, that have influence, that have status, that are fucking terrible examples to the young guys out there watching them saying, it's okay to be a simp and wife of a sex worker. Fucking embarrassing. Like this dude, Nick, gets mad at me, calling me an asshole. Nigga, you're with a straight up porn star. <laughs> if you click her shit, first thing that comes up is she's naked. She's sucking <laughs> black dicks all over the internet. Are you fucking stupid? The fuck is wrong with you? Now this with this girl, uh, with this dumbass bitch Sam Frank, goes to meet Vitaly. Yes, pictures of her naked. Pulls it on a binder. Like, do you guys not see what the fuck is going on here? This Brecky Hill girl, idiot, fucking moron. This dude Jinxie crying over this bitch on fucking with fifty thousand people watching live. Where have we gone as men? Where have we gone? There's a couple things you don't get. I think the chat understands it because there's a generational divide. You're thinking that they are ashamed to walk around with public uh, OnlyFans uh, prostitutes and porn stars. They aren't. It's been so normalized by these streamers that being with one of these girls in my generation, the younger generation, is not a sign of shame. In fact, it's almost a status symbol. So that there's one, they don't care. Two, they like having these girls in content because I don't think you realize that Like you're, you're thinking that men have to provide value. These streamers have nothing to say. Like it's not a diss to any like to, to any of the mainstream streamers, but when they don't have anything to say, that you're just there on camera. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna entertain people? One of the most entertaining things you could do to an audience full of like young kids watching is be flirting with a girl. So it's mutually beneficial. Like these people are not interesting without the interactions to a girl. They have nothing to say on camera. It gives them months and months of content. So in the beginning, I thought that like the Jinxie Brecky, I thought it was like, oh, okay, it's just like he's just farming it for trying to get drama and content. It actually no it's real like this dude is actually sipping for her sipping for her but at the same time here's the, the fucked up part and why it's a humiliation ritual why it's selling your soul because even though he's getting humiliated he's profiting off of it people are talking about him more people are tuned to the drama more people are going to be watching Brecky Hill Snapchat story more people are going to be watching Jinxie Snapchat story seeing what's going on the paragraphs that go back and forth they're going to be commenting on the TikToks they're going to be asking about it on stream the simps are going to be more emotionally involved they become parasocial and involved in a relationship that they're never going to have so they actually profit off of this drama and being humiliated publicly this is the life of a streamer now I'll tell you this Kevo taught me a lot about marketing on blogs. And when it comes to drama, 
and creators, artists, celebrities, athletes, the more drama you have around you, so on your name, the more money that you make. So I get what you're saying. Granted, though, did Sam really quit her OnlyFans? I don't know. I, I don't know. You don't talk to Neon anymore? Uh, I don't talk to him about that, and uh, I really, like, yeah. She probably didn't. They never do. Probably not. <laughs> they never do, bro. Either way. Look, like, when you make that money, right, there, you, there's, you're, you're fucking done. Like every, like, every girl I know always goes back to the sex work. That used to do it. Because the problem is this. Most of the time, they get into the sex work when they're at their peak, right? And they don't develop any real skills during that time period. And they make a bunch of money. So what ends up happening is they go on, get older, continue to make money, and then they say, I don't like this anymore, and quit. Then they go get a real job, and they realize, damn, I actually have to work. This sucks. And then on top of that, I didn't acquire any real skills when I was younger. I'm just going to go back to doing what I know best and yeah. being a whore. Then they go back to being a whore. Or they find a man takes care of them and then he drops them because they're a fucking whore exactly and then they go back to then they have to go back yeah so, it, so it's, like, it's, it's a vicious cycle and the thing is is that you know these these women don't understand that not, not only are they fucking up their boyfriend's lives um they're fucking up their lives too but <sighs> i look, listen jinx i don't know him that well i don't and i watch the streams but i'll say this though he's this a is, retard this is the fourth breakup i've seen i watched that interview with him and sneak and i legitimately was getting very um perturbed Irritated. because I, every question that he asked was like, oh, let me try to get him here. Gotcha moment. Yeah. Like yeah. every question he tried, like, uh, was trying to, like, ask it in a way to, like, kind of set himself up for, like, an alley oop of, like, trying to shame Sneak up for and a I position. I didn't know he was going to do that. I, sh I should have just assumed that every interview now is going to be like that, yeah. but he was just trying to make me look stupid the whole time. He basically did to him what Flagrant tried to do Flagrant to us, and us. they didn't get, they, he didn't get the reaction that he wanted, and he's so much of a bitch, he held the interview back. You want to hear a funny thing, too? Because Moist Critical hasn't streamed since the debate. Jinxie has not uploaded one podcast since that debate. He quit his podcast. Because he has nothing to talk about. Like <laughs> he's an idiot. They, they realize that they he's have nothing to say. Yo. So if you have nothing of value, you might as well date a porn star. Yeah. Yeah. But, but you're right. Because that Nick dude's a retard too. But these dudes are all look, look, I'm yeah. just gonna say it. Neon, Nick, Jinxie, who else? The wife that with a three oh four. I mean all of them. You guys are all stupid. You guys are fucking stupid. Oh, there you go. So. Wait. Is Twitch okay? You could say yeah, you could say the imp word on Twitch. I think now. Okay, that's not serious okay. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys worried about? We don't have enough people watching anyway. We're not cool. cool. So yeah, like um, yeah. So um, so yeah, they're, they're just simps, bro. And the thing that kills me is they got a lot of young people, impressionable people, watching them, mm -hmm. and they're gonna think it's appropriate to simp on talentless sex worker females. Yeah. That's what bothers me, because we have a whole generation of guys growing up now. Yeah. Where. Yeah, there's a red pill movement to teach you guys to like, you know, be a fucking man, make money, become successful, be a leader, be mask and be dominant. But we are absolutely being eclipsed by these younger influencers that are fucking simps. I actually had a back and forth with the with the phase guys. I think they're funny, but I was criticizing. Oh yeah, they they brought up they brought this dude's porn star girl on. Skyby. Yeah, and simping on her, I, smelling I was, her sea and shit. Lace, yeah. lace, lace. Okay, I'll, I'll explain it before then. Lacey? Uh, what were they doing? They brought another girl on, this girl, uh, I don't know, just one of the Twitter girls. Uh, I don't want to say her name and give her more promo. Um, something um, something Snow, Sophie Snow. And they brought her on the stream, and the whole time they're like, oh, gooning, I'm gooning, I'm gooning. And I'm like, you're making it cool. Gooning means jerking. Oh, Sophie Rain, I'd be cooking her on Twitter. Yeah, we shouldn't give these people. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Fuck that bitch. We shouldn't give these people more promo than already. She a 304, man. Yeah, I mean, look, they're, they're still <laughs> I'd be bodies. cooking that bitch on X, bro. But they're making really? it. Have you <laughs> yeah, noticed? I'd be cooking her. The lingo they use, they're making it cool to masturbate. Like, oh, I'm, I goon, I'm gooning. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I told them, that's like, what it means. Gooning means jerking off? Yes. yes. It's funny Nigga. you didn't know that. Generational gap right here. These boomers. I watch these creators, no, but bro. you know what? No, that clip is awesome. I don't want speed, though. Because when he said that shit, yeah. when he said that shit, because she didn't know he was going to say that, mm. you could see the disgust in her face. Oh. Like, she was like, But the, oh. here's the thing. They don't care. Like, no, no, no. I'm talking about the bitch. I know, I know. But the male streamers don't care. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's all course. content. As yeah, long yeah. as they get a reaction, they do not yeah, care yeah, yeah, about yeah, getting humiliated. And so I criticize them. And Lacey and uh, Playboy, Playboy Max, the guy you like, yeah. I think he's funny, too. Yeah. They go, they're like, oh, you know, we're not putting the links to their OnlyFans. We're not. But the whole point of them coming on the stream is to get promote, is to get the funnel to go there. And... It's become because it's it's none of these girls actually have their own like channels and shit. Like no. the the thing with like a lot of these OF chicks and shit like that that you guys got to understand is none of them have their own Twitches or YouTube channels. And if they do, 
It's like nobody watches. Nobody it. watches it. It's they, funny, actually. They Sarah, need the platforms. Sarah they need Safari, other people's they need platforms. Yeah. yeah, they need it. Uh, remember Sarah Safari? We were doing. We had some big streams last year. Yeah, she she was always saying like. I'm the one who elevated your platform. She's talentless too. I have nothing against her because this is how females think. Talentless. But she's saying like, I, I you need me, and I'm like, leave. Like, like I don't, <laughs> you. And, what? And then I'm not trying to like like. She'll be nowhere without Brad. She started streaming on Twitch, and it's like she has less than what you have on Twitch, right? Like, like she has playing Fortnite, and it's just there's no humor, there's nothing there because the whole point, bro. That, I the watched, whole reason people dude, watch it is the interaction with the guys. Bro, I saw clips. That shit's boring as fuck, bro. Right, she's bro not, that shit's so fucking no boring. No one watches female streamers look, or female... They're not look, interesting. Look, no one gives a fuck about female streamers or content creators. And the reason why no one gives a fuck is because you bimbos are stupid. You have no life experience to draw from. You're not relatable. You're not interesting. You're not funny. Because your entire existence was predicated on you being a female, having tits in a vagina. So therefore, you never had to actually develop any character or characteristics or become interesting or witty or charismatic or charming. So therefore, that is why nobody fucking watches you guys. So the only way that you get any traction is you must go on a platform where people do actually like that creator. And then you collab with him mm. sarah built up by brad no one gives a fuck about her shit that is what it is all these girls absolutely fucking useless female red pop led podcast useless no one cares unless you're talking about being a whore like the uh <laughs> go daddy, daddy. Uh, tell her daddy whatever the fuck call, it's called call her daddy. Like, her daddy. <laughs> that's what it is all these chicks are big on instagram maybe x and then they rely on collabing with big male creators to bring people over to their OnlyFans or whatever because they're not interesting. They never had to be interesting. So therefore, when they stream and shit like that, they're, they're boring. They're and the frustrating boring. part is like I've been on their podcast and I try to talk about things. I remember I went on uh, Sarah's podcast like the day. They suck. On October 8th, right after October 7th. And I, I was talking about Palestine right away because this is the most important subject We're on a podcast. They don't even want to speak about it. They don't want to talk about anything real because they don't want to lose brand deals. They just want to be like, what'd you eat for your pre-workout and your post-workout? There's nothing. And uh, so going back to Blackboard Max, because uh, I criticized them for the gooning thing. And Even why is that? Because women don't have to be smart. I criticized uh, the phase guys for the gooning thing. And then I saw there was a clip. Uh, he had, he was doing a, a tryouts with his with his fans yeah. and his Discord. A twelve year old kid comes in uh, Playboy Max's Discord, and he's like, "I saw you had Sophie uh, Snow on your stream. Yeah, I, I was gooning. Like he's like literally like squeaking <laughs> like bro. Like I saw. Did you what have, the fuck? Did you goon her? Like it's just like this innocent <laughs> little kid like smiling up at his favorite streamer. I love watching you. Like and it, th they are normalizing it. They're making it regular. There's a lack of shame uh, for these people, and that's why I do respect what you, um, like Myron. Sometimes like he gives too much attention to these girls, but nobody else is calling it out and shaming it, and nobody's putting them in their place. And if they don't know what they are, which is pro they're prostitutes, then people are gonna think that this is. And here's the thing, Normal. like someone tried to, some fucking bitch ass motherfucker, I'm not even gonna say his name, messaged me on Instagram within me 24 hours. You guys are only fans interested because you bring these girls on, you promote them, sir. Number one. A majority of the girls that come on are not OnlyFans girls. Number two, we cook these bitches, all right? We roast them. So the thing is, is that for you to be able to actually have your arguments strong and fermented is you must be able to have them challenged by opposing views. So for people to really realize where we are as a society, you need to have someone like me have discussions with these fucking delusional ass chicks and show you that their minds are warped and they're idiots and you shouldn't be pedestalizing them. I'm able to wake up a lot of guys on female fuckery by me talking to them about what about certain things and they don't understand. Also, so they're not going to wake up unless I fucking talk to them. So it is what it is, man. Like You're seeing in 4K, they're all the same. They do the same shit. They all just pretty much selfless. They're online. stupid. And it's like... They're, they're all different. stupid. Yeah, they're, they're all the same. Like the fact that like, this Sarah Safari girl, I didn't even know that she told you that, that you built her up. Bro, Sarah, you're talentless, bro. You're fucking talentless. If it wasn't for Brad, you'd be a fucking nobody. Shut up. Like, I hate when women try to take fucking credit. Like, credit for shit that dudes put you on. If it wasn't for Brad, you would literally be a fucking nobody, you stupid bitch. Shut up. I hate when the women try to do this shit. Oh, I'm big. I'm famous. Blah, blah, blah. 99% of you bitches. 99. If I took your fucking brain and I put it in an average dude that's five foot seven, with no uh, like, with nothing actually redeeming, no tits, no nothing, you bitches would all be in fucking poverty. Shut the fuck up. The worst thing that we did was give women rights. You bitches shouldn't be voting. You shouldn't be fucking doing anything. You should be focusing on wearing skirts. Making sandwiches hey. and shutting the fuck up. Because your opinions are always stupid. And the cops. Every time. And and here's the thing. 
any of you bitches that I mentioned, you're welcome to come on the podcast and we can debate it out. But I already know you're going to take the L. That's why girls are scared to come on here. You're misogynistic. Well, guess what, bitch? Am I a liar? No one said I'm that. I'm pretty factual. A lot of you are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, I remember she was streaming and then someone brought out your name, Snickle. And she completely ignored Female it. streamers are delusional, She completely bro. ignores the Snickle question. You saw that? Oh, yeah, the, the SQ. Yeah. Fucking morons, all of them. Every single one of these chicks I mentioned are morons, dude. You know what's more scary? The brain rot's getting bad in streaming. But you know, you know, you know what's more scary? Yeah. This is normal. And it being normal, this is why these girls can be elevated to to a status. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Like a girl can make a spitting on a penis sound and then get a podcast. Get a podcast, Black. bro. Like that's 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 actually incredible. Yo, that's dystopian. We have to work so hard just to get to this point. Like like like, she can just come on and talk to a podcast deal sponsorship. Yeah, Jake Paul. No, that, that's actually incredible. Huck that's to. that's scary, that's bro. That's the sign of a failed society. I don't think people are speaking about that enough. See? That's signs of the end times. The fact that Hawk Tua has the podcast. So now I imagine why I think how I think. You think it's gonna get any better than this? No. But some people, we need to wake the people up that are gonna be woken up. Just from this podcast alone and the clips of Myron going viral, people are gonna see it and be like, "Wait, I am gooning to phase," uh, and they're gonna wake up and maybe they're gonna go on a good path. So if you can bring people on the boats with you as you leave the burning building. Or whatever the fuck. Yeah, we could wake up a few guys. Like, look, they're, they're, look few, let's few, just keep it a, a thousand. Few. A lot of these dudes are going to keep going to stupid bitches like they Sophie are. and Sky Bree. And these simp niggas are going to continue to hang out with them and wife them up. And, you know, Jinxie's probably going to get back with this dumbass Brecky Hill bitch that has the IQ probably of 91. Like, not even 91, probably 61, if anything. But, you know, or 67. Bitches Haitian in the brain. <laughs> right? But, like, yo, it is what it is, man. This is the world that we're in now. Like, you know, and, and, and just... She really said that shit that you, you, like you, she made you? Yeah, she, you, you got a mad now. Yeah, 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 yeah she, she did, she did. Yo. Yeah. That nigga fuming. Wait, you, you didn't see the thing in, in Vegas when she started saying like, after all the shit we went through and started like yelling at me? No, I didn't see that. No. Oh, wow, yeah, you would, yeah. Well, I gotta put you on. <laughs> there's, there's stuff Yo, that would make you really upset. Can you put the clip up? The clip? Yeah, I'll send it to Mel. Yeah. The, you are, bro, uh, this Myron is ridiculous. Is right She's now. shouting at him in public. Bro, you are on Vogue Wait, what? Magazine. <laughs> yeah. You let a bitch yell at you in public? Spazzing out. You mean, let her. What do I want to do? Like fucking close her mouth shut in front of Dana Tell White? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> it was in it was in the Red Rock room full of like Dana and? White and, and everything. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> shut up, bitch. <laughs> yes. It's just not my it's not my girlfriend. It's just a chick. Did y'all have like a thing? <laughs> no, it was not my girl. I'm just you're yelling shut up, bitch, to a random chick in a casino. <laughs> nah, you guys were like holding hands and shit. I saw it. But that's not my chick. Brother, yeah, but she's like, brother. Yeah. You want me to say what it is? Genuinely, what, what do you think Bro. is the best way to navigate that situation? I would have told in front of all those people. I'd be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Who are you talking to? In, in that situation, yes, I would have told her shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, and then I'm having a, sh a shout. At me. She was yelling pretty loud. No, no, I would have been like, "Look, she was yelling like, pretty no, loud." I'm look, not gonna lie. Then, to you. Yeah, then you're like, "Yo, shut the fuck up! Why are you even here? Get out of here! Leave!" I think she was in. This the is a men's conversation. She was in the room first. Okay, so you, <laughs> she she was in the no no. Here's here's what happened, mine. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. Why are you looking away? <laughs> yeah. Why is she in the room? Okay, 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 okay. We it was Shake a casino, the right? There's uh there's like a, the bigger oh. room. Oh. Um, that's where all the, the high roller players like Dana White and celebrities go, right? Academics goes in there and he's mic'd up because he like she's already upset and he's like asking her like, um, uh, what happened? Like why are you mad at Secret? She's like fuck that fuck. Like she's like yelling, right? And, like and act and she doesn't know what is she mad about? Um, that I I made a joke like I, that I forgot her. Here here's the clip. Let's play it. This is legendary. She, she, I don't remember why she was mad to be honest. I think like she got mad at a chat or something. I'll tell you this, man. This is legendary. Oh, you know what that is? There's oh, <laughs> She's mad because I was joking to the car saying it like made the buff jokes. Yeah, like I'm not gonna right, yell at her right there and say shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck that, bro. What's up? Then I get black. Then I get uh, banned from the casino. After all of that shit, all of what shit? But like, why was she there? Like, 
Why was she there? It, was that your shit? Like you're like no. So after the was, events, I, people always go gamble at yeah, the very I think top it was like levels. Power you, slap. Is that kid of events? They go to the very top to those rooms, private rooms, and they gamble, talk shit. So she was there because of that. Yeah, p- people in the chat are saying like, "Oh, you need to handle her. You need. To, this is not my wife. This is not a. This is a girl I was doing content with. Like, what do you want me to do? I mean, I would have like. Look, what would man, you have done there in that situation? I would have told her. I would have looked her dead in the eye because like, if this is a girl that I'm like seeing or whatever, I would looked her dead in the eye. Like, it, who the not. fuck are you talking to? Shut your fucking mouth now. And then, eh, nah, nah. fuck you. <laughs> leave. <laughs> Bro, I don't like. Yeah. Tell her to leave? Either you, you get the fuck out of here or I'm getting out of here. One of the two. Yeah, I yeah. left. Okay, okay. Like, but yeah, I would have checked her right. Like, this is a chick that I was like kind of like flirting with her. Okay, well, what if it's not? It's a content chick, like uh, one of those. Then even better, you should have told her, shut the fuck up, bitch, if you want content for real. Okay, no, no I don't want I don't <laughs> Come on, nigga, pick one. Yeah, like, but either way. Go hard or go home. Yeah, yeah. go hard or go home, bro. Yeah, like, that's nigga. fucking crazy to me, bro. Like, that, like yeah. look, look, maybe I'm an asshole because I literally do look at women as inferior creatures to us. But, like, bro, what the fuck? Like, this, bro, what the? Someone said tape her mouth. I mean, like, Dana was in the that's room. That's crazy that she talks like UFC that. UFC fighters. That, why does she talk like that? That's disgusting. I think you're She's a woman. Yeah. Bitch, what's wrong with you? It's probably the roids. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's 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 fucking it's unacceptable. Bad. I'm I'm at the point. I don't see. What do you think about this? I I'm like when a so, bit, when a girl gets like that, I'm like fuck. So that. See, yeah, 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 yeah. But like, bro, but like, I'll tell you this, but like, though. bro, what the fuck? Look, this he, is why you don't deal with influencer bitches. Yeah. That, this is how they act. I'll tell you this though. It's crazy. Snickle one though. You know why? She's irrelevant. He's not. Snickle one. But in the moment, I thought I made a mistake. No, no, hold on, hold okay. on. You made a mistake at the very beginning. I'm not saying no, but at the very beginning, you made a mistake. That's all. But regardless of the facts, Sneeko's on top. Shout out to Sneeko. And Safari, Sarah Safari, is a nobody. Thank God. Because that person right there is insufferable. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, insufferable, bro. That, like, she's, and here's the crazy part. She's acting like that in public. Yeah, yeah I know. On stream. In on front of camera. Of, in front of, in front of, in front of billionaires. Yeah. yeah. In, in front of, of camera. No, in front of billionaires. Yo. So I don't know if you're watching, <laughs> right? But let me give you let me give you a fucking tip. You're fucking stupid. You can't behave like that as a fucking female. Are you fucking retarded? Like, you're a fucking embarrassment. You can't act like that, swearing like a fucking sailor when there's a bunch of dudes around and with a guy that I don't even care if it's fucking content. Like, motherfuckers aren't going to want to take you seriously. And like the super hyper masculine guys that you would probably be attracted to, we don't watch you. Wait, you fucking dumb? Who dates her? Fucking... That, bro, let a fucking girl talk like a girl I'm seeing talk to me like that. What? She, she ever had a boyfriend? I don't know. <sighs> well, th- that should tell you everything you need to know. I, I, I think about that situation. Bitches are wildin', bro. In that situation, imagine I say, "Shut the fuck up, bitch," and then people are like, Look, "Yo, you don't gotta yell at her." <laughs> like, all, the people, all the people in the room, you can be like, "Yo, she's with all her friends. All the all the guys around her are her friends too." Like, "Hey, don't talk to Sarah like that." And now I'm gonna fight. <laughs> no, and then I'm Look, getting es- Look, like escorted. No, like, out you look her in the eye and you be like, "Yo, shut the fuck up. Who are you talking to?" Like. And, and, then, the and then she a starts yelling, bitch like her? then I'm in here's a shouting thing. match here's in the, the casino. A weirdo bitch like her likes that shit. Yeah, I'm not trying, to, like, I'm like that, I, like I'm that. trying to do kinky game with the, <laughs> a strong He don't want to crash with up. Strong he, he woman. Crash Nigga up. said he wants to do it for content. Now he don't want to do it No, no, no. I'm not saying I don't want to do it for content. I'm saying with the girl for content. Like, oh. with the content girl. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to, like, lie on camera, but I'm saying, like, she's not my girlfriend. She's not my, I'm not. Was that on your stream? I'm not dating her. It's my stream. Your stream? Yeah. But look. Me and Aqua dual stream. I thought that you fucking were dating this chick. That's why I'm mad. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Because I'm like that. You guys hands and shit. You want to hear a joke? Bitches fall in love with Who's in that video too? Who? That they worse? Who? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you saw right? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, no, that that's crazy. I mean, the fact that she said she I made was there her career. That night too, remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, d- 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 <laughs> she can't make shit. Brad made her. She needs to shut up. And the rest of these female influencers need to shut up too. And the fact that like guys are fucking crying over them, like it really bothers me when I see people, like men, grown ass fucking men, crying over talentless. Scallywag whores. Dude, there's so many girls out there, bro. So niggas many girls. are stupid. Yo, if n- niggas understood how many girls are really out there, bro, you would even be bothered by these hoes, bro. Yeah, but when you're chronically on TikTok, you think that those are the girls that make up the world, are just the, the bro. Angie looks better than all these bitches and doesn't give me any of the headaches. 
There fucking you go. crazy to me, bro. There you go. What the hell? I know, but she respects you. Like, the thing is, these porn star girls don't respect any of the guys that they're with. <laughs> no, of course they don't. They don't. Like, they're they're I don't think that they understand that. That's what I, I wish that they would get. It's like all these guys, like Jinxie and the streamers, the prostitutes that you're with have zero respect for you because you haven't built yourself up yet. You haven't yeah. done anything as a man. You haven't went through any trials. You're just a guy who plays games. Why would she respect you? Yeah. That's what she's just with you to funnel your audience. Yeah. Please know that. Yeah. I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. No, it's absolute fact. The, absolute those fact. girls are just there to leech off of you like a succubus. Yeah. Because they are not able to cultivate a real audience. So therefore they must go to your audience and siphon them to them. Because they can't make long form content and keep them entertained for hours on end. These bitches literally bro, they're, they're you know, that we always make fun of like a one minute man. A lot of these bitches are one minute women. It's like not even a minute. Have these girls, it's like a little quick Instagram reel. Bounce my boobs. And then boom, video's done. Listen, That's what they do. I'm enjoying the moment with them and I'm gone. Like All the whores. So anyway. Okay. They're either whores or they're insufferable bitches like this Sarah chick. That really I didn't realize she said that shit. I to can't you. believe you've never seen that before. We I, no, no, no. <laughs> well that that's annoying, but I didn't know that she said she made she made you. That's crazy. I don't think she said she made you, but she's like like I basically, yeah. Yeah, around those lines. No. You know what? She should she should be making sandwiches. That's what the fuck she should be making. <laughs> on, on camera. Fuck out of here, hey, man. Kids. These bitches are delusional. Hey, she wants to make a protein shake. Right. And what is she? She's like early 20s? Like 23. Hasn't done shit! 24. Hasn't done anything! I'll tell you this, though. You know the who, fuck out of here. You know who you got to blame? Brad. What? No, it's not Brad's fault. Brad put her on. Insufferable bitch. Yo, Deadass. No. He must have known she was like that, bro. Come on. Yeah, but he he's, you know, he's... Don't matter. He make, she makes him money. Yeah, no. He, he's just, that's that's his fuck. cash cow. You know, he don't deal with her. Hold on. Does she deserve that money? No. Somebody else does. Nicer, I mean, more humble, more respectful. No, you know but what? Here's the problem. That, look, look, look. Those it, girls it, are it, not entertaining. You can't farm those girls for content. You need to have she's a, not either. She's very clearly good content. What, what's she doing now? We just saw the content. That was good content. Nigga, that was one clip. Because you were in it. Yeah, that was one clip. You well, were in it. That's the point. You're not going to... Oh, Gary's here. What's up, Gary? Yeah. You right. can't have... If you have a girl who's nice and humble, submissive, feminine, you're not going to want to put her on camera. She's not going to want... She's going to be too shy and giggly. Yeah. She's not going to say yeah. anything. Okay. You know? Yeah, that's a good point. You can't... No, bro, what you can't, bro, what I'm you saying need to have like, a masculine chick. Bro, uh, bro, bro, like, no one... No one's watching her, bro. <laughs> Nobody's watching her by herself. You even said her, she's streaming. Nobody cares. She probably sucks at whatever game she plays. People watch suck her, at everything. her Snapchat of her gym selfies and stuff. Of course. In the gym. Yeah, of course. They, the people are gonna they're gonna be glued into that. I guess is yeah, what so the like, fuck listen, they say. Look to the source, you'll find the answer. I think she has a higher male audience like percentage than we do. Of course. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's all females. <laughs> no, no, no. Of men. In. But she has all men watching. Yeah, all, all, all female content creators. Yeah, that's yeah. all female content creators. The majority there. Actually, matter of fact, it's more of a flex if you're a female. I respect female creators that have females where, that that women watch them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's much harder. Yeah, because like if you're a female like and, you, and, and yeah, yes, or, and you yeah. have she has mostly men, right? Um, but no, she has a woman. She really? has women too. But but she, I don't even consider her because she doesn't. She never ever. I've never ever seen Candace's body. Yeah, like yeah. she's she dresses conservatively. On purpose, so people actually care about what Candace she's got to say. She's a real nigga. Yeah, she's different. I don't. I don't even consider. There's very few women that I actually like take seriously from what they actually say, like their their viewpoints. And Candace is actually one of them. Yeah, she's but, the only one. Um, I like Laura Loomer too. With, yeah. uh, with her, tr I know, but I know you guys don't get along. That's fine. Uh, call um, me. A, she's calling me a jihadist terrorist, attacking the FBI yeah. and shit. Um, but yeah. she breaks really good stories when, the, when it, uh, and she's for, a Zionist for the election. So, uh, yeah, I disagree with her on that too. But yeah. other than that, she's I, she's good uh, reporter. Free Palestine. Um, but um, but yeah, like dude, it, most females like it, um, if you're a female creator and you have mostly a female audience, that's when I know you're actually talented. Yeah. You're doing something. But if you watch, got a bunch of niggas watching you, you're a whore. Cause there's no other reason to be watching you. You're not entertaining. You're not interesting. You don't got no cool stories to tell. Did Demi sucks date uh, Aiden? Oh, here we go. I I just. What? She's a retard too, actually. I'd be cooking her as well. She's a retard as well. God. Hey, she's 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 a nice girl. She's a she's a nice. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold she's on. a nice girl. She's stupid as fuck. That Isabella chick, stupid as fuck. Hey, she's a nice girl. She's a retard too. She's a nice girl. I have a question. I like her. When Myron's racial in these hoes, and they block him, can he still t tweet them or no? No, no, can't. I can't. So is it d done there? Is, it's is, done is, after that, yeah. yeah. So then you, you tweet them one time, it's over. Yeah, it's just. Yes, yeah, so a lot of the block me. This one <laughs> bitch plays chess, has a bunch of whore pictures of herself. I was like, how are you a chess player still a hoe? <laughs>
the fuck it's is like, wrong actually with I found it. She has a OnlyFans light of passes. Yeah. You know, it's just like a the fuck? Yeah, it's just, you know passes, right? No. It's just only it's just only fans for girls who want don't want to call themselves OnlyFans girls. Oh. Yeah. So she is a prostitute too. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, so much to keep it with me. Well, man. you would think oh you wait, you play chess, you should be higher IQ. What's she doing? Home? Selling the Q. Stupid bitch. Yeah. Crazy, bro. The world's doomed, bro. It is doomed. And our women are fucked. It is doomed. Yo, where are the good good women at? Bro, you, you ain't gonna find them on the internet. No, you won't. I'll tell you that. Actually, are they gonna be in Bosnia? I, I realize that like uh, my wives, I'm never gonna publicize that. Hundred percent. You shouldn't. Just uh you, yeah. hold on. Dumb we, idea. We've been looking on it for three years, right? You know what I mean? You deal with headaches. You put it on camera one time. That's all it takes. Just one time put it on camera. Either you find out some whole facts, or she's like, you know what? Oh, I can make content too. Bitch, no, you can't, by the way. Yeah. But they think, you know what? I could do this too. And then they get fucked up. But then you have again, to be, and, and here's the other thing too, is like, she's got to be strong too. Cause like, they're going to, they're going to cook her. Wait, like they're yeah. going to come after her. Like they'd be women talking shit to Andrew all the time. They're not meant to deal yeah. with that stuff, man. Like, you know, I kind of feel bad about it. she helped me with my true crime shit, but like, yeah, like. The yeah. female brain is that she would not be able to handle that without you. No, like, yeah, no, yeah, she wouldn't. No, it's, she wouldn't. it's bad. I, I, I tell her all the time, no, nah, just tell that bitch this instead. The only people I saw who figured <laughs> it out, the the Dawa guy, like the Muslims that I know in, in the UK and all these places, their wives are like, I ha I don't even know what they look like. I've been in like people's homes. I've like spent and days with them. Keep the wives in the back. No, even like oh, they, completely w. covered, and then even if they were in one room, the wife they will go. To the, they will like strategically go to the other room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just to avoid. Like I have yeah. no idea what they look like. And people, I've know their kids and stuff. I've had meals. Mashallah, man. That's don't great. even know their names. That's like, good. That's the way it's supposed that's to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. I agree. Yeah. Shield them from the gaze. Yeah. yeah, the evil eye. Because you know, look at all the women that have the evil eye on them at all times. What do they turn into? Fox 304. Yo, y'all seen that video with the uh, guy from America? I went to Japan. They pregnant Japanese women? Yeah. You saw that? Mm -hmm. Is that real? Who knows? It's the internet. Who knows?